Hey there everybody, welcome back. Here's the next update for the Super Tunias. It is October 8th, 2023, and it's really starting to feel like fall now, at least at night. Uh, the nights are getting down into the low 50s. It looks like this coming week, we're gonna get down into the 40s. And that's gonna be the first time it's been like that, you know, since April. Looking here at our box, um, you can tell that there's, well, this box is dealing with some caterpillars that are attacking it. Uh, they've been eating the flowers, and my whole philosophy on it is, I was mentioning it last video, whether or not it is worth it to, you know, spray some insecticides, pesticides, whatever, to try and get rid of them, and I realized, well, you know what? In about another two or three weeks, we're going to have frost, and I don't really see the point of trying to get rid of insects right now when the plants are going to be dead in a couple of weeks or so. So therefore, I'm just going to let nature take its course, keep watering, keep letting the plant do its thing. It's still growing healthy and fine, but uh, this one in particular is having a problem with the caterpillars. Another thing is it's a little bit, a little bit past two o'clock right now, and the sun still hasn't reached these flowers yet, which is funny because, uh, you know, during the spring and the summer, typically by about 1.30, 1.45 in the afternoon, this box right here starts getting sunlight first. So not too much sunlight going on now, uh, but you'll see a difference here. And I take you over to the porch Everything's looking a lot different. Number one is they're getting more sunlight now. And number two is I believe they don't have any real problems with any insects. Could be wrong. I just, I don't see anything that's too, you know, telling. I don't see a bunch of flowers with holes in them. That's usually how you can tell. Um, and remember these boxes, they're not all bubble gums. I had a bunch of different colors in there. It's just that the bubble gums took over everything. So lesson learned on that one. And again, they're looking really nice. This is October 8th in North Carolina with daily highs probably in the mid 70s. And the lows are now getting into the mid to high 50s, but that is, that's gonna change next week. Just been watering and fertilizing every day twice a day with bloom booster fertilizer and here's another box that hasn't yet got sun partially because of the shape of the house there compared to this box which is and again you can see how it's just the bubble gums have just taken over everything there's just nothing but bubble gums you can see a couple of the blue skies right there but pretty much just bubble gums. I could see some damage on these flowers too from the uh, caterpillars. Maybe I'll take you around and show you. Um, if you watch last year's vid videos, I had an infestation of caterpillar damage and I just noticed some right here. So if you see this right here, these, these holes that are in your flowers, sometimes they go right through the center. Sometimes that's, you're looking at uh, caterpillars. Basically, there's a moth that will lay a bunch of eggs. They turn into caterpillars. And before they turn into moths, they feed on your flowers. <laughs> so, and as you can see, when you have such an abundance of flowers, they pretty much have an unlimited food supply. Over here, I don't see much damage, but I, I, I'm just assuming that they are, they're in here. Um, but you can't, it's no, there's no point in stopping them when it's, when it's, you know, in the fall now. If, it, if this was in July or August, I would have already been spraying for them, but there's no point. I'm already pleased with 
I've never had uh, super tunias grow this late into the season. So I'm all, this is all new to me, actually. Last year, they maybe made it to the middle of September. The year before that, they were done by, I'm gonna say August, because I didn't treat them for insects. So I'm very, I'm very pleased. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. So thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you next time.